Gibson Drive, the 13 Mitigator Ford Fusion. I'd like to well, thank you for listening to Let's Talk Racing.tv. Let's Talk Racing. I'm Teddy Peter, driver of the number 17 Toyota NASCAR Camp World Truck Series, and you're listening to Let's Talk Racing. <laughs>
Yeah, it really uh, it puts uh, the, our, our team is fairly small and owned by Howard Bixman here here in Morrisville, North Carolina, and it, you know it, it really kind of puts the whole team on the map. So we're pretty excited about it, and we're uh, we're still living it up. Well, it's got to be good <laughs> to know that the team, your team, which is a, is a is a uh, ARCA team, a full ARCA team, running up against. Chase Elliott in the Hendrick Motorsports and and Dylan Kwasniewski in, in Turner Scott's cars. It's got to be good to know that you know you all had you all had them you had them covered for a little while that night. I, I tell you what, to, to me that that is uh, just as impressive as is the win is because at this speedway racing anything can can kind of happen and, and usually does and and we we had a great car we were in the right positioning and it worked out for us. But we legitimately contended with with all of those big teams the the whole race, and and we we really have been we we've been pretty consistent with that over the past year of being able to run with these guys, um, and I, I think that's something everybody at the shop needs to hold their head high about because uh, just like you said we we are are a little team and and uh, man, we're we're doing good for for what we got so everybody's uh, everybody's pumped up and, uh, and and man we we've got a lot of support from. From, from not only, you know, friends and stuff like that, but, but also a lot of other guys in the garage that, that I know we're working with. So are you going to be running the full season this year in ARCA? You know, I, I hope so. Um, there, there's still some details that, that have to be worked out, and, and that's um, that, that's the goal. But I think we're a little bit away from that right now. We're, um, we're, we're, we're still kind of taking it one race at a time. We will be in Mobile in a few weeks, which is a, a really big one for me because, heck, man, that, that's home for me. So I can't can't wait to get there. And, uh, and you know, we're coming coming there as a, a been the champion of that race. So um, the, the speedway stuff is really fun, but uh, but I can't get enough of the, the short tracks for the Arca series. It's uh, it's it's a different style of racing, and, uh, and man, it, it's action packed and fun. So how long did you uh, party for the, that night? <laughs> I'd probably still be awake. Uh, you know, I, I know I was in bed by about two or so, so that, that's not too awful, I guess. We, <laughs> uh, we, we went and um, watched, watched the, the Sprint Showdown and, and, um, and had a good time. So we had, had a lot of local supporters that, that had actually made the trip to, to Daytona. So, so we got to party it up with them a, a little bit, and, and everybody on the crew had a good time. So, uh, man, it's just... Um, one of those opportunities, you don't know if uh, something like that will ever happen again. So you got to you gotta live it up. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You said you get uh, Jack Roush's motors. Do you get any technical technical support from those guys? No, no, we don't. We're we're not not uh, affiliated with uh, with actually Roush Fenway. We uh, we get our motors from Roush Yates, and, and those guys, as far as motors go, they help us as, as much as they possibly can. So those guys are. Are really good, but but as far as um, the Roush organization, the, they're nationwide, and and I uh, kept being, we're not we're not actually affiliated with them. Um, but but man, uh, the, the the horsepower that the Doug Yates and, and Nick Ramey and everybody at Roush Yates gave us was, um, I mean, that, that's half of the battle when you get there. <laughs> Either you you got to get water here, and you got to get body, and you're gonna have a good race, or uh, or you don't, and, and you're gonna have a bad race. And, and uh, we were we were fortunate enough to, to have a, a heck of a heck of a motor. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine that's a big feather in your cap to show up in Daytona and have. You know, the one thing you don't have to worry about is questioning your motor. Yeah, yeah, and, and like you said, that that's a good relationship we have. And, and um, you know, we had the same car and, and motor package last year, and, and we were able to have a really fast car. And we were to, we we had a mechanical failure earlier in uh, early in the race, and, and weren't able to. To finish, but it was really fast then. It was really fast when it went to Talladega last year. But um, but this race, everything worked out. It just uh, just kind of went our direction. But but the, to actually show up and you know you got good horsepower and good good body and and, um, and good people to work with, man, um, that it just kind of makes you sigh. <laughs> so uh, add a little bit of relief when you get there because you you know you got good stuff to work with. Yeah. Are you uh, running anything else this year besides the Arca? You know, uh, pretty much the, the last 10 years, uh, I've been some sort, some way, running some late model stuff, super late model stuff, or, you know, whether it be in Mobile, Alabama, or Pensacola, Florida, down Snowball Derby. Um, 
I would like to say that, that I'll run a, a couple more plate models uh, this year, hopefully for, for Tracy Goodson, um, who, who I've been around for the last couple of years. But that, that stuff's kind of on the back burner while we're, while we're trying to get everything finalized with the Arctic season and, and trying to, to run as many races as we can. Um, that stuff's on the back burner for a little while, but, but, uh, but definitely hope to be at the Snowball Derby in December. So how do you gear down from Daytona to go to Mobile the next race? <laughs> I mean, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, man, I, I tell you what, I, I can't be more excited about the Mobile race. Like I said, the, the, the Speedway racing is fun once you get there. But the Speedway preparation at the shop is miserable. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm here to tell you there is so much little tedious work to, 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 and um, I, I say it's miserable. We're, we're still working on race cars, so it's still fun, but it, it's just so much work goes into those speedway cars. And, and you, you know, the short track stuff where we're getting ready for Mobile, we can kind of eyeball the body stuff. If it doesn't look right, we can just kind of hammer it out a little bit and say, yeah, yeah, we can go down there and win that race. Well, you, you, you can't do that for the Daytona stuff. Everything has to be perfect. Um, so, and I enjoy the, the technical aspects of, of uh Try new new suspension stuff and new uh, new things to work with, and and we do plan on testing before we go down there. Um, so man, it's, it's not gearing down for us. We're uh, we're we're wide open on our short track program. Now I tell you what, I know you were up awful early that morning because you were texting me before seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, it is hard to sleep when when you have a big night like that. Uh, <laughs> we. Uh, we were, we were, I was actually supposed to get on the road, you know, at seven, we, we delayed that a few hours, but, um, <laughs> and, uh, like I said, you, you have a night like that, you want to remember it, so I, I, I feel like we, uh, we, we partied it up about, about the right amount, so, so I can still remember all of it, and, uh, and everybody had a good time, so it was, it was all right. So you still down in Daytona, or did you come back up north? No, we're we're back up in uh, in Mobile, working on our our short track program. So, um, like like I said, the the Mobile race is March the twenty second, but but we got a good bit of preparation to do before then. So so we're up here, and um, we we've got everything post race from uh, from from my car from Daytona, and we're getting everything stripped down from uh, my teammate Justin Allison. Got a little bit of bad luck luck in the first uh, accident. It, it, it hurt that car a pretty good bit, so we got to get it turned around and, and back ready for Talladega. So, so we uh, we had to get back up here and get back to work. So will Justin be running with you, running with you on the big tracks, or doing the whole season? Right now, it, it looks like he's going to be the, doing ten TV races. So um, you know, his next one, uh, as of right now, will be Talladega. So looking forward to uh, to, to getting his car down there, and, and we're going to try to make the open test. At Talladega, and hopefully be able to work together. We um, we we tried to at Daytona. We were able to do a little bit of, of drafting and practice together, and feel like we we would have worked well together. Just um, that that early wreck took him out and um, kind of ruined our plans. But uh, that happens a lot in speedway racing. It's uh, you you it seems like you, you talk to everybody in the garage before the race, and you work out all these plans, and you shake out all, all these hands, and you get out there and nothing ever works out. So uh, it's just, uh, just just part of speedway racing. I don't I don't know if I'd be walking around shaking a whole lot of hands before the race. To... <laughs> <laughs> no, you want to you, you want to work with it. You can't do anything by yourself in, in the speedway deal. So you want to you, you want to work with, with whoever you can. It doesn't doesn't matter. But um, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully, when it's a matter of choosing one or the other, they choose you. But, um, but, but like I said, very rarely does does any of that planning and, and trying trying to work out stuff. Very rarely does it ever work. Well, it works out good when you're running out front and and, and have have them behind you. That's what, that works out really good for you. That is the best plan in, <laughs> in before too. But but a lot of times that doesn't work out. So uh, you know, the, having having a great car like like we did. Uh, on Saturday, that fixes a lot of problems. So, you know, just uh, just really, really fortunate and, and blessed to, to be able to drive it. Yeah, I would imagine when you show up with a fast car, people will tend to want to work with you. Absolutely, especially in your yeah. speedway races like they saw in Talladega. Yeah. I mean, it worked out for some guy named Trevor Bain. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> so, uh, you 
Yeah, that's one of those things, man. Anything can, can happen. Those, uh, those races are, are so much different than in everything else we do. Just, uh, it's just a, a different way of racing. Now, how many speedway races do y'all run? Just two? Just two. We, we run Daytona one time in February and Talladega one time in May. And that's it for the year. So once we get done with, with those two races, we put a car cover on the speedway cars and oh, roll them into awesome. storage. And, and then it's all, you know, the, what I call the normal stuff. It's, it's, it's still a, a pretty diverse schedule. We still have short tracks and intermediates and, and also dirt tracks and road courses left. So the, uh, the Arca series is, is extremely diverse. Don't y'all run Michigan too? We do run Michigan. We, so um, you wouldn't use the same car at Michigan as, as you would at Talladega or at, at, at Daytona? Mm -mm, it's, uh, it's it's drastically different. Um, huh. Our intermediate crazy. package is very different from our speedway package. And the biggest thing it is body. Um, it, Arca still runs the old style cup cars right. and, and you can still manipulate a lot of templates to, to do what you want. You um, you build the cars almost opposite body wise. If they don't invalidate it, you want the least amount of drag. When uh, when we go to Michigan and, and, and poke it up, you uh, you want the most uh, amount of downforce and side force. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's how you make speed there. All right. Well, we appreciate your time tonight. Thanks, sponsors. Sponsor. And would you like to, uh, to thank your sponsors and tell us a little bit about who you're driving for and all that stuff and thank them. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I definitely wouldn't be able to do what I love with, without our, uh, with our sponsors. Case Light Motor Honey, Advanced Auto Parts, Worth USA, Stanley Industries, and, uh, and man, especially Howard and Paula Bixman. Like I said, they, they're the team owners of or Team BCR in Mooresville. So, uh, man, just, uh, just can't say enough about, about everybody there at the team and, and uh, everybody that, that allows me to, to do what I love. Well, he looked pretty excited the other day when, when you won the race, I'll tell you that. Do you blame me? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm talking about your car owner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our car owner was too. Yeah, he yeah. looked. He looked kind he of gave, emotional. He gave him a ride over to the victory lane. Yeah, he looked kind of emotional yeah. when they tried to talk to him. Yeah, and that was sort of cool. He got to get a ride from you too to the victory lane. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I had to yell at him a little bit there. He, yeah, he, he messed up some stuff on the car there, but. <laughs> <laughs> you I can't wondering. blame that on you, right? Yeah, you can't blame that one on me. It, it, uh, man, that, that, that was a pretty special moment. It's something uh, we'll, we'll probably remember forever. Yeah. Well, congratulations. That's got that's been pretty cool. Yeah, congratulations, and we we really appreciate you taking time to out of whatever you were doing tonight to stop and talk to us because I would still be I still be celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, well, I appreciate all the support, and uh, and I'm welcome to come back. Uh, Anytime y'all have me. Okay, we'll do it. We'll I'll, get back with you again. I'll talk to you later, Grant. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right, now, I don't need all y'all. <laughs> 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 keep the time, keep up with ourselves. You, huh? you were starting to skip around there, so. Keep it right on time? Or? No, you're supposed to call him. Oh, really? I don't know who this is. Let's talk racing. Their opinion. Maybe it's Scott. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, y'all supposed, supposed to be calling in at 7.30. Yeah. 6.20. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, I've got uh, some... Yeah, just give it about uh, 12 more minutes and then call back in. 12 more minutes. Hmm. Uh, make it about 6.35. Okay. Bye-bye. Our little younger younger guy. Yeah, he's ready to, he's he's ready ready to, ready to roll. roll. I'm going to say, but I'm a little boy. But I've, learned, but I've learned one thing, that I'm going to let our little boy talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> he's the best weather guy. So we get to talk to we're going to let our little boy talk to him. <laughs> 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 so we get to talk to we're going to let our little boy talk to him. <laughs> they seem to be on the same level. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my wife wouldn't argue with you on that one. Yeah, if, if I'm over here talking on the phone, you guys can just. We're talking. Let's talk right we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me put you on hold. We'll switch over to the main line. Okay.
Dale Moore, how you doing, sir? Man, I, if I'd be any better, I'd, I'd be doing something wrong. I am fantastic <laughs> sitting up here in the tower of Southern National. I bet you are. I wish I was sitting there with you. We'd have, we could have a good conversation up there. We have had, haven't we, we not? We sure have. Uh, this is Jack Gosson. I got Scott Allen and Roger Brim here with me tonight. And uh, want to get some of your um, information about what all you got going on at Southern National for this coming season. Cool, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we started off, of course, this weekend. We have our first open practice uh, of the year uh, due to the weather. Have enough snow for a... <laughs> Kevin's own snowball derby. I'm done with the snow. <laughs> so this Friday is our first open practice. All the teams have already been calling. It's, it's, it's you know, $20 a person type issue like we always have before each race on Friday. And then Saturday is our, uh, the 22nd, is our media day. We're going to have free practice to all of our teams, and uh, you know, they will come out here and just, just have a good time, and then we're going to shut down the track at 12 o'clock, and from 12 to 1.30, we're going to have the media out here, give them full access to the teams to talk, take photos, and, and give the teams a little chance to get some extra exposure. And, We've already had a couple of local newspapers and radio say, well, I'm going to try to find a local driver and, you know, somebody that we can follow through the whole year and just see what they do and how they're doing. I said, that sounds great, man. They would love it. I'm sure they'd sign right on. That's pretty cool. I don't know many small places that they get that into the, having a media day. Yeah, and, you know, we're doing it because Southern National is trying to uh, – to, to push the, the local teams and to support the local grassroots racing. So we're trying to, you know, we, when we look at our, our full uh, race day event, we have to look at it from several perspectives, from the race teams, you know, the guys and girls that's out here racing and having a good time. They have to have sponsors and they want to have fans. And, and, and you know, of course, the racetrack here, we have to have fans, we have to have the drivers, so we got to have a a happy medium and we try to provide you know uh, the outlet for the, the drivers and the teams to meet the businesses and the, and the media and all this good stuff and that's one of the big things that we're going to try to push Saturday is is you know to get these uh, because you know race day is, is crazy and, and the teams are focused on racing and getting their cars right and and you know they don't have a lot of time for PR and then during the week you know there's not a whole lot of time so we as a racetrack here are going to try to, to fill that void and provide that outlet so and we're actually opening it up to the teams throughout the year so look give us a call We'll give you a printout of our media that, that, that come and our, our data on our computer that you can email and, and you know, want to hook up with some uh, promotions. And, you know, because that's all about getting sponsors and, and right. finding some, some different things which we all have to have to continue because racing is not cheap. Got that right. <laughs> cheap, but it ain't getting any cheaper for some reason. <laughs> well, Dale, I, you know, I've been down there the last couple of years for the, the big race. And, of course, I talked to you the last time I was there. You have a great, that, that track just seems, the, the support you have there with a lot of people, I mean, even as cold as it was two years ago, I mean, because I like to froze then. But, I mean, it, I mean, you had a great turnout for the race, and, and you seem to have a great program going. We, it, it, we've been fortunate, you know, we're, we're in eastern North Carolina and out, in, you know, it's funny because some, some people call and they get the directions for the first time, you know, and, and we give them directions and give them the, GPS coordinates and everything they need, and they'll and I say, and I'll talk to you in a little while. And they're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Call me about when they're about a mile and a half or two miles from the track. Man, I followed your directions, but I am out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm like, keep on going, bro. You're you're there then. <laughs> and, then and then boom, there we are. And it's like unbelievable. It's like you know because. You know, we're off the beaten path. We don't get any drive-bys. No, you don't. That's <laughs> yeah, that's, I can understand that. that. I can understand I, that. I remember the first time you know, I went out there. It's just rise by and decide to stop. <laughs> uh, we're not on any beaten path. So, uh, we have to spend a little extra money, a little bit extra time to do some promoting to, to get the fans here. And we're definitely a destination point in this area, you know. So, And that's one thing, you know, our march, we, we've uh, dedicated our... Our first opening, you know, race is March 1st. That's our season opener. You know, it's going to be a 2 o'clock 
green flag because the time is still hadn't changed and the weather is probably going to be a little chilly so we're going to try to get some racing in a little bit of limited schedule we're only running our our late models or chargers and new cars and and uh you know so that's that's going to be kind of uh, our, our season opener but um uh, then the uh then we got the modified wheelings coming in the 15th of march uh, that's going to be a five o'clock green flag because you know time is mm-hmm. Hopefully the weather's going to get a little bit better by the middle of March. And then Pro Cup's going to come the 22nd of March. And then our, our first full scheduled race is March 29th. It's our March Madness 290. And it's a 7 o'clock green flag, which is our normal uh, green flag time for our, our season here. We're running every class. And that's one thing we've done this year. One of the complaints we've had, you know, at, at the end of every year we have – it's actually become several meetings, but it's a kind of recap, sit down around the table, what problems do we have, what comments, you know, driver back uh, feedback, fan feedback, and, you know, we can't never win because we got, you know, we got drivers and teams and we got fans and, and we to have a happy meeting, we're trying to make changes. And one of the things that, that we have done this year, which is different, is we're, we're racing all of our divisions. Uh, last year, you know, like if you were a charger, we might race you one, maybe two times a month. You know, this year, every other weekend, every division we're racing. We're running the, the, the Lemonheads, the Lake Models, the Chargers, the Street Stocks, the U-Cars, the Legends, and the Bando. You're all racing. Wow. You know, and it's going to be a tight schedule and a full race night, but it gives the opportunity for, you know, the people to, to, to race if you can race. And, uh, you know, before it was like, man, I, I, I'm into it. I had a good race. And it was fantastic. Now i got to wait three more weeks before I can race again. Well, that's, we fixed that. You're going to race you know, one week off, get your stuff together, get you a little bit more money, come on by. Uh, those are the things that we have done that's different this year than, than the previous years. So. Well, other than the Modifieds and the, and the Cars Pro Cup, what other divisions are you having coming in also to, to race there? We got the uh, past Super Late models coming in. They're coming in um, uh, May 31st, and uh, they're coming in then uh, July 12th. So we got the Pro Cups, uh, the past Super Late models coming in, and then um, you know, of course, the NASCAR Wheeling Southern Modified Tour. They're coming in. They, everybody loves them. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, and then of course, you know, we we've got the Sprint cars coming in too. USCS Sprint cars are coming in April 26th, so that was an addition that we just added in late to the schedule. Oh. So of course, you know everybody loves the Sprint cars too. A little, mm-hmm. little extra uh, events for that. But uh, it, it's from, we've actually, you know, we when we first started, it was every other weekend, and then Mike and Jerry said, okay, we're going to leave those open weekends for some of the series to come in, and they come in. So we've got almost a. Uh, We've got the Pro Cups in March, and then the Sprints are coming in April, and then uh, uh, the past Super Late Models coming in May, and then they're coming back again in uh, July, and then uh, September they're coming with the Pro Cup events. Uh, then we got the Vintage Car Nationals uh, in September, so it's, it's a full schedule, man. You need to check us out on, the, on our website. Yeah. And what about, are we, are we still going to have the turkey the turkey bowl race at the end, right? We're going to have the three-day turkey bowl wide open craziness, um, just racing for the fun of it and for the money. Uh, that's come, that, that has become a signature thing here at Southern National that the guy started from the first year on. Well, I'll tell you what, that late model race, I was down there for the late model race. That was a heck of a race. Was that not the best race? I mean, that was uh, door to door. I mean, that was some fantastic racing, wasn't it? It was. It was really good. And you got a good facility for the, for that type of racing, so it's really good. It is, man. We got. We're lucky to have the guys build it right to start with the first time, and and it's been kept up throughout the years. And then, of course, when Jerry and Mike bought it uh, two years ago, they pumped a lot of money in it. I, you know, we've we've got a good team management team down here, and. Um, the uh, the owners they they just give us the support that we need to do the job and and they're like you know do whatever you need to do to to make our teams happy to to keep them coming back uh, and let's get some fans in the stands and that's like a beginning to tell you March Madness we've dropped our our ticket prices we recognize the fact that you know 
this is disposable income that, that you have to have. People making choices where to go on Saturday nights. We want to get the fans in the stands, so we're doing a $12 adult, $10 senior, and children $6, free under 5 and and then we're also giving away a bunch of tickets, a bunch of schools. Uh, Mike said, you know, print up some tickets. He wants us to get involved in the community and give them away. He said, let's, let's, let's make this thing happen this year. We, we've uh, actually um, named all of our events, like the Spring Fling is, you know, April 12th. Mm -hmm. And then we partnered with a, a local uh, professional minor league uh, team here, the Carolina Mudcats. And uh, we've got some, we're going to go over there one night and, and, uh, and promote short track racing to all the baseball fans and they're coming over we're going to have their mud cat and give away a bunch of bats and all that good stuff for our annual moms to bomb 370 which is may 10th but it's, it's just fun it's just having a ball right. well be careful who you give them bats to now don't get don't give away in the pits <laughs> no and that's so fun you know it, it, it's fun to watch them and I sit up here, you know, we got a three and a half story tower that's in the middle, and I've got prime, uh, you know, spot here. You've been up there, Jack. Mm -hmm. We've sat here and looked. It's a, it's a wonderful view, ain't it? That sure is. I loved it. I tell you what, I enjoyed the whole the whole day I was there. It was wonderful. Yeah. It is, and it looks like you know when you look at it, and you look at the pit area, and and, and it's just full and. Everybody's having a ball. It looks like a bunch of grown kids playing with their toys out in a big thing. <laughs> you got that right. And I was like the big one sitting there watching it. They'll start fighting. One wants another toy. No one's looking at the other one. It's just, it's just, I just love it, man. I just, I just love it. And, and uh, you know, it's a sport that uh, that has a lot of passion. And, um, you know, and NASCAR, of course, we're sanctioned down here. And, and they give us a lot of support. And, uh, you know, they're, we're constantly on the phone and emailing back and forth from NASCAR, and they're telling us things that we need to do. Of course, you know, our, our Wheeling uh, uh, event is going to be the 15th, so we'll have the, the Wheeling people up here. And we always invite all the fire departments and the race, uh, the police departments and uh, and give them free. We'll give them a switch. You know, we've got these. One, one thing that we have that a lot of tracks on is these, these super elite suites up here. You know, we got 16. Uh, a luxury suite okay. sitting on top. You, Jack, you you went up in one of those, didn't you? No, I never did get up there, and I want to go up. I wanted to go up and see one, but I saw them when I was there. I didn't go up to them. Yeah, that is. I mean, you're talking about you know, there's there's eight on each side, and because you know, we've got an alcohol and non-alcohol section, and um, they're on top of the stands, and, and each one of them has you know your private bathrooms and the glass in and. Uh, way up to 20 uh, seats in each one of them. We got a couple that we call our party suite that we have to rent out. And of course, we sell those for the season, some of them, and then we keep some for VIPs and special people that we have here at the track, and then we also have some that we rent for birthday parties. And, and then, of course, we always have to upgrade the, the VIP upgrade, which is only 20 bucks and worth every kitty. Mm. Air conditioned heat and, and somewhere to sit. And, and, and if you want to come out and get some, you know, some, some some uh, fuel smells and some rubber on your teeth. You can come down and sit in the stands. But if you want to go up there and rest, you can do that too. So that's one of our big, big things that we have here that everybody loves too. So. Well, I know I enjoy being in the tower with the heat the last time I was down there. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you're old as you are. Oh! oh. 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 He fired a shot on me. There we go. Dale, I like you, bud. <laughs> Now that is, that is a great place. I was actually there for the very first race the weekend. We ran third there. Jay Fogelman got disqualified, and uh, what's the barbecue guy down there? They had a car. He he won the race. But it is a beautiful racetrack. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And you know we've got uh, you know Dick McCaskill was our late mile stock car champion last year and our limited late Clay Jones and, and Deke's already been out here uh, testing and, and Tommy Lemons Jr. has been out here testing and we've had a bunch of them already you know we've had to fight the weather but we've already had a bunch of teams out here and of course we get visited by the by the big boys too they come out here and rent the track you know some of the NASCAR drivers that everybody knows that still on the circuit they come out and use our track yeah so that's that's sweet and nice and 
you can't officially use their That's name because we don't pay them a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. Hey, yeah, that that right, that might hurt hey, your um, your budget. Yeah, your budget <laughs> for the year. Yeah, we've asked them. You know, <laughs> they're trying to get you guys right on. But they're great people. With you. you know, they're, they I, I saw them down. At, uh, not didn't see them, but I saw them on TV at Daytona uh, last weekend, and and it's just kind of nice to know that they still come out and choose our track to test and. You know, they've got sons racing in, in some of the, the yeah. divisions, so they'll bring them out here, and, and that's always exciting. So. All right, Dale, well, we appreciate your time tonight, and we'll get back with you again sometime during the year and see how everything's going. Absolutely. You're always welcome. You don't even have to call. Just show up and tell them who you are, and we'll have a place for you up here in the heated tower at Southern National. I appreciate it. Cause I, <laughs> I appreciate it. So you got an old folks home up there? Is that what you're saying? Well, I want to help you up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say that because I'm turning 50 this year. So I can say, I can say all the old jokes that I want to because I'm part of it. Hey, Dale. <laughs> Hey Dale, when I get down here, you're gonna have to do more to help me up the stairs. You're gonna have to give me a, you're gonna have to buy me a drink and a meal while I'm there. I'll have it waiting for you. All right, man. <laughs> we'll talk. Go on and take care and come see us. I will do that. Appreciate it, man. Man, bye bye. <laughs> this is a nice place. It is a nice place. He, I mean, he was, I mean, he was fantastic with that. I was down there. I mean, yeah, I, I missed going down there for this past one because I had to stay home and. But uh, the I year before, I was down there spotting for Lubno when he was racing. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was funny because the first time we were there, it was like a it was a three day weekend, I think it was, and uh, the, <clears throat> they we asked the guys, "What was there to do?" You know, it was There's like nothing. He said, yeah. we fold the we fold the sidewalks up around here about <laughs> seven you o'clock." Have to go. <laughs> now there is there now there's a Hardy's there. Oh really? Yeah, there's a nice Hardy's in town. Ah, huh. but I hate to say anything bad about the place. But, but you gotta I mean, go, you, when you, you got to go road, 15 miles to get to the next exit well, to get something. Well, if you notice, that's one of the questions you didn't get a chance to ask him is where does he draw his fans from? Because I know that he's out there. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, out anyway. there. He's but, I mean, it's, it's still a nice facility. It brings the people in. Oh, Let's go ahead and get Austin on here. This is this is yours, young man. <laughs> Since all y'all want to fire on me. <laughs> Austin Piper, how you doing? Hey. Are you doing all right today? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, well, this is uh, Scott Allen. We got the old man here, and we got Roger Broom. The old man's Jack. We just call him old man now. <laughs> so uh, give us a little back background about yourself. I know that it's not that much. The Hulk, is that what you called yourself? Yeah. Yeah? The Hulkster. <laughs> Do what? I'm six years old. I've been racing for three years now. I'm going to Wichita Hall this weekend. Who's his, who's his favorite? Race? Who's your favorite race car driver? And if you say me or Jack, that's okay. Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon. Uh -huh. So you're pr probably pretty happy that he's on the pole then for the Daytona race. Yes. <laughs> so how did you get into racing? Because my dad took me to go watch it, and I said, Dad, I want to just be just like him. Okay. So who's the better race car driver, you or your dad? Me. You. <laughs> That's what I figured. So where did you get your car number from? Um, what is my favorite number. What is your, what is your car number? 65. 65. We're a little bit high number, usually it's a... Uh, so what else? Who's your sponsors besides your dad? Um, Daddy Beef. Grandpa. Grandpa. 
Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keeping it in the family. There you go. Mm. Where are the races? That's pretty good. So what, where, where do you race at and where are you from? Um, I'm from Texas. And what kind of carts do you race? I race quarter midgets, go kart on a dirt track. On a dirt track. How many wins do you have? How many wins do you have? Uh, I ten last season. How many? How many? Thirteen last season. Dang. Well, don't tell my car owner that, because he might put you in the car and take me out. <laughs> now, he was he was crowned champion at the Cam Cartway. Oh, okay. So you're quite the little wheel man, huh? Yeah. Well, Austin, let me tell you something. You won more races than Scott finished in his <laughs> the last he finished last week. <laughs> Do what? I already won two this year. Oh, you already won two this year. He's already he's already won me up, one up me. What have you? What did you want to? Hmm? Oh. We'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any brothers or sisters that want to race too, or are into racing? My sister does. Your sister does. Now, is she older or younger? Older. Older. Now, who's the better race car driver between you two? Me. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even race yet because he still plays soccer. Oh, uh, so she's waiting till soccer's over? Yeah. Yeah. Which driver are you going to replace when you get older in, in the NASCAR? Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> Well, if you like him so much, what are you going to replace him for? I want to, I want to get him in sprint cars. You want to get in sprint cars? Sprint cars or sprint cup? Sprint cup or sprint cars? Cars. Sprint cup. Sprint cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you plan on moving up to a bigger car? Oh, what are you going to move up to? Six and a half pair stock. Wow. Well, you're doing pretty good for, for a six-year-old. Scott's almost 50 and he ain't done much yet either. <laughs> so we're proud of you. You're four foot nothing. Uh, other kids are like 11 and like um, 12 and 9 or 10. And I'm like... My birthday's in like April 3rd, and I'm about to turn 7. Mm. And you're whipping all those old kids' butt? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be racing this weekend at Wichita Falls, and I'm going to be the winner there. Mm. All right. All right, Babe Ruth. <laughs> all right. Well, you don't lack confidence, do you? No. Oh. Now, you have a national champion title. Is that also in the 3.5 horsepower carts? Yeah. yeah. You are a track champion, a regional champion, and a national champion. You, you're a pretty good little race car driver. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you ever, if you ever come up here, can you come up here and give me some pointers? Well, he's nice enough to do that, isn't he? Right, yeah. He's all right. If I, if I race um, Austin Dillon against him, Spray Carl will be him. All, all right. right. Now, all right. now, would you wreck him to win? Yes. <laughs> 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 Are they young? They all too, too many tips. <laughs> Have you wrecked anybody to win yet? 
No. No. <laughs> if you're ahead of them, you don't have to wreck them. That's, that's true. You win 13 races and got all the championships. So out of 13, you won 13 races. How many races did you run? 20. 20. That's pretty good odds. Wow. It's about 60%. I gotta step my game up. Yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't hard where I'm at right now. <laughs> well, we got things here called arena cars. And they got a and they got a division, for, you know, for the younger folks. We'd like for you to come run one of them sometime. Yes, sir. I will. All right, we would love for you to. And and this this older fella here that's sitting with me, he runs in the older class. We even let you run against him. <laughs> no, because you'd embarrass me. Because you got more wins than he's got laps that he completed last week. <laughs> You're in a heap of trouble. <laughs> oh, man. You're getting all tore up, aren't you? <laughs> so how old is your sister that races? She doesn't. She doesn't? She doesn't race yet. No. Well, she's old. She's like the old granny on her <laughs> Switch over to his dad. Let's ask the dad some questions about. I want to thank my coaches Elizabeth and Carrie because he helped me be a national driver and made me get food. <laughs> Is your dad there with you? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's trying to kick him to the curb. <laughs> He's not here. He, he's at his work. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> that was the mouths of baby. <laughs> I think somebody's got their hands full. Oh, yes, we do. Hacking off the track. Yeah, that's Well, he seems to be a pretty good, uh, he's got confidence. I mean, he, don't, he ain't liking that. How long has he been racing? Uh, this is his third year. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you think about having a, a, a national champion in your house? Oh, we love it. I mean, everybody just gets the world in him. He, he, it's good. I would often down and be my coach. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, let's wait and see what happens in the Daytona 500 before we decide you want to be your coach. Yeah, we'll have to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to um, a truck races. Um, then the number four truck, um, he won it. Okay. Um, Jeff Burton. Jeff Burton. Jeff Burton. Hey, he knows the story. Oh, he knows now. For long, he'll have ours. Yep. The, how does your friends in school like you racing? Are you uh, are you popular in school because of that? Yeah. Yeah. You got a girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, now you need to stop that. <laughs> All right, Dad. You can't have a you can't have a race car driver and have a girlfriend too. Now you can only afford one. <laughs> Unless she's a sponsor. <laughs> What grade are you in? First. First grade. First grade. Wow. I'm, I started too late. Well, you yeah, really? <laughs> just a little bit. You just finished the sixth last year. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he may make it to junior high yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 
called Mandalay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Scott. Yep. I don't know. I'm running out. The stuff here. And uh, Hoss is going to be racing in the Lone Star Park Nationals this coming weekend in Wichita Falls. Can you come with me? Great. You talking about us? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we could come watch because I would love to come watch you race. Yeah. If you come watch me, I'll get you one hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's gonna be hard to turn down. Yeah. Where are we going? Wichita Falls. Wichita Falls. Texas. <laughs> she call up Robert Richardson. Have him go check him out. Yeah, that's what we are. <laughs> It just sounds like he's got a bright future. Yeah. See? You're, you're, I mean, you've accomplished a lot in three years. In two. This is his third year. This is his third well, year. Well, that's... Dang. <laughs> he's, he's kicking ass. He's... Yep. Dad, can I get a ride? <laughs> <laughs> he must have some good equipment. Right, yeah. It must be some good stuff. Does he practice in his yard? Hmm. Where, where do you go practice at when you practice? At the same place? Now, Dad, did you race before? No. No. <laughs> just, grew up, just grew up watching it. We just took him out one day to watch a friend of his, and uh, we bought a car the next weekend. <laughs> Is he like this at the racetrack with you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he allow you to work on the race car? Who works on the car? Dad. Dad. And Grandpa. And Grandpa. My, my grandpa, he does the tires. My dad, he builds he the motors. Mm. Alright, well, you gotta keep the tire guy happy. Some tires on that dirt is worth something. And you got to keep Dad happy because he's got the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, we all know racing's cheap. All right, now how does your mom like you racing? Kind of. You kind of. <laughs> that's that's, a, that's the normal answer. She likes it except for the the money. Side of it. Yeah, I, I I've been there. Know how that is. <laughs> all, all of us here have. <laughs> All right. So you'd be a professional race car driver then, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how does does your sister like you racing or or no? Yeah. Oh, she does. Oh, there. Phone. Phone. He's got both his sisters watching go racing. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, Austin, we appreciate your time tonight talking with us. Thank you. Thank you, too. All right. Well, we'll and you keep us up. And we're gonna, we'll call you again sometime and find out how your season's going. How about that? Yes, sir. Okay. You're one of my new favorites now, so I'll have to keep up with you. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Ask me a question. Are you... Can you be my sponsor? <laughs> You're good. <laughs> you are good. Um, yeah, the sponsor's you, free. I, you just gonna give me a hundred dollars? Come watch you play, watch your ratings, <laughs> and I'm and I'm thinking about taking. And you asking me to sponsor? You? <laughs> I wish I could, Austin. I wish I could. So you, you need to talk to Roger. He he's the one with all the money. We're at our we're at our video studio. Okay. Studio. Okay. How many people are in there? There's four of us. Can I stand there without blowing up? Do what? Say that again. Nothing. <laughs> All right, Austin, we're, we're, we're going to keep up with you, and you, you keep winning races, all right? All right. 
we'll send huh? we'll send him a video link so he can see it. Yeah, we're gonna send yeah, Roger said we're gonna send you a video link so you can see the the show, all right? Okay. All right, you have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. the time. Thanks for calling in. <laughs> That was a wild one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was. <laughs> I like him. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. He said he's got a handful there. Yeah, he's not like, here. <laughs> he's at work. He's going to take you out. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to win. <laughs> you in trouble, Scott. I think I think if we get if we get him up here, put him in Scott's car. Oh, Can't do that any is, worse. You got that right. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 see him walking, I can around. see him walking around the walking around the pits. <laughs> you can be my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that man. was not that, that was not the question I was expecting. <laughs> no, 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 no. He got you stumped there. <laughs> yeah. I was glad he answered instead of me. I, think about I would have that. been like, uh, 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 uh. That was funny. But six years old, and he's won all them races. And, and that's unbelievable. And that's yeah. just in. Two years. Two years, yeah. How many cars in that? Now, out there? Uh, you remember how Greg Galding, when he started kicking and getting going and everything, and you know who signed him up? Mm -hmm. Kevin Harvick. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. When, that's when he started running the uh, K&N stuff. They signed him up for five years. He did the past late models, and then... I think he signed with him when he was like 13? Yeah. He still ain't. I don't think he made 18 yet, has he? He's 16. So yeah, he's still a young guy. See, he got signed up the Christmas after he won the Young Lions Nationals. Yeah, he's 16. We were talking about it the other night, but he was, he was still 16. Yeah, what did he run? 10th at Daytona? Or he or was he was in the top 10, but I'm not sure exactly where. Yeah, something like that. Because Kaz Grego finished 10th. Oh, did he? <clears throat> and uh, Lee Pulliam was fifth. Yeah, he had a good run. Now, was, see, uh, now was, he was I guess he was spotting for a guy. Is he point. racing with Brennan and K and N, or is he yes. still separate? No, no, they're they're, 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 they're he's yeah, part okay. of NTS now. Yeah, so he still know. has? Does he still have? Uh, yes. Donuts. Krispy Kreme. Yeah, Krispy yeah, they're Kreme. They're part of the deal. I think he's going on a couple of truck races. Yeah. yeah. The first race is Martinsville. Yeah, and, but oh, we're gonna have fun. They're not, but even uh, Brennan's not running the full schedule in the truck series, from what I understand. Yeah. yeah. From what I understand too, I'm, I'm going to get up with him and John get some King more. is going to run their car, run their truck oh, yeah. this weekend, and I think Brendan's going to have a truck this weekend for Daytona. They'll have two trucks, and John King's going to have one of them, and Brendan's going to have the other one. Then Gray's first race will be Martinsville. Yeah, I didn't realize, I didn't realize that there was there's an age on the size of the track or something you run because he's under 18. I don't, I don't know. I know the trucks. You have to be you have to be at least sixteen years old to drive a truck. Period. Yeah, they so, do have a minimum age in the NASCAR series. But I don't think Gray's been approved for super super speedway. speedway yeah. So I think he has to wait till he gets approved for that. Cause who was it? it? Was two of them that just got approved this past week for super speedways? I can't think of who they are now. Probably Elliot. Well, yeah, he's already yeah, running right. trucks. Yeah, he yeah. yeah. It was two of them that just got just just was just told this week that they could run. They ran the Arca race. Mm -hmm. Kwasnowski, Kwasnowski was one of them. Dylan Kwasnowski, whatever his name is. But I can't think of who the other one was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it was big news to have the three car on the pole at Daytona, though. Yes. I mean that's got. I mean Childress has got to be. I was going to try to get Chocolate to, to call in and talk about that. Yeah. This Daytona week sucks, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sure everybody's busy. I, I was glad that Grant was able to call it, but then I've talked to Grant a lot. lot. You, if, next time you talk to Brennan, you'll listen to Brennan, you'll listen to Grant, and you'll say, you couldn't tell him apart if you were listening to him on the phone. Yes. Yeah, it almost sounded like Faith, Faith, she's heard Brennan talk, and she used to joke about how high his voice is, you know, and... <laughs> All nasally and stuff, and then Grant's kicking out when she was listening to him with the uh, Victory Lane. I was I was rolling, listening to her. Hmm. But anyway, so what so what we got for racing news here? We got to, well, it was supposed to be the last fifteen minutes, but but they well they tore up some cars earlier today. They're practicing. Yeah. yeah, we figure Vicker. I guess somebody Logano and a twenty. That was the big. That was the big one. Logano, Blaney, Menard. 
Vic Rise was through X. Uh, and uh, Kligerman. Kligerman was on his roof. Oh, was he? He went on his roof. He he, he went to front trial on oh, his roof. Oh, the fence down. Yeah, they tore. Oh, down. really? Yeah. Where at? Was that on? It was on the front coming track. out. Of, yeah, it was coming out of the coming out of the, four. Oh, yeah. Coming out of four, going to the, going into the trial, where he tore out. He was that. up on top of some cars and then hit hit the fence. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like a uh, ride through. Yeah, ride through. He said, "I got to see the back of his car, the back wheel of his car, for a long time." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Derek said that uh, Kyle, they they had good. They're both their practices were good, and uh, the car was clean. The car was good. They they're going to be in the dual race number two. Mm. So. Which is probably the better one to be in, I think. There's, I think there's mm -hmm. some big names in the, fir the first room. Did you well, see that video of Derek? Which one? <laughs> well, on Facebook, him doing the Dougie. No, I didn't see that one yet. <laughs> uh, I scrolled through it, I'm like, oh lord. It's pretty funny, you have to watch it. Mm -hmm. Omadinger was fastest in practice today, on the last practice. Mm -hmm. The first, the first. 150 is probably the stronger 150 mm -hmm. of all of them. Yeah. As I said, the second one would probably be the, the... All the heavy hitters seem to be except Jimmy Johnson. Well, Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon are in the second one. <clears throat> so... Now, you know Daniel Suarez is one of the first two races came in now, right? Yeah. Okay. And Phil Warren, what's Phil Warren doing with him? I don't know. I think he's spotting because he said the crew chief for somebody else. I saw, I saw the picture with Phil Warren in there, and he was in the. Yeah, I seen somebody congratulate him. He, he's, so. he's been spotting for those guys at the K&N with well, Rev son, Racing. Yeah, well, his son's and, been doing it for years. Yeah. He was with uh, Duflachi year before last. I, uh, I remember him. Kyle. Larson. Oh, no, 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 do fly. Do fly. I race with a lot of them. <laughs> That's what they say about you, Larson. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a little do fly over there. The camaraderie around here, let me tell you. I don't do fly. Oh, gosh. I'm just you gotta have fun. Fun, so you got a month off. So we know you're going to stay friends with a lot of people for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got but one person that's not a friend. He, he told you he left your things that he loved you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> By the way, Juan Pablo may be running the Brickyard 400. Ain't no maybe to it. He's going to run around. Uh, well, I'm just saying. Pinsky's going Pinsky to put him. He's going to put him in the car. Yeah, I, I would imagine. I mean, that's what he wants money. to do. That's what he wants. I mean, yeah, who's sponsoring him in the uh, Indy? Is this still Target? Uh-uh. That's right, because Target's with, Target's with uh, Ganassi. Ganassi. Um, I saw the car the other day. I can't think of who it is now. I don't keep up with the Indy cars too much. So. Yeah, I, I don't I have them for years. The new game's coming out. I don't know how much people is waiting on it to come out. The new I think game. it's already out. It's out now. I was going to say it's already out because uh, one right. of the guys have brought it in here. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, uh, you, you see where my mouse is right there? Mm -hmm. NASCAR 14 is launched. Okay. <laughs> what was I going to tell you? Oh, Alan Bestwick. We're going to lose him to IndyCar. I don't know how those guys do it. They got somebody talking in the ear, and then they're I can't. Do, I, remember, I can't do one thing at a well, time. Well, it was like a few minutes ago when I had two of them. <laughs> so we know how you would break under so pressure. I was, I was it, going like this, trying to figure what the hell. It's <laughs> called coming. It's with practice. It's like when your wife is talking to you and you're trying to watch the race. You just like tone her out a little bit. You hear something? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's me. What? See, I have vol I have the volume controls over here. You want anybody to hear you? <laughs> well, now see. I can always where, swing that's this where y'all go wrong. Have. That's where y'all go wrong. What's that? <laughs> Mine knows not to talk while racing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got y'all beat. Does I'm she going, watch I'm this going. show? Uh, I, I don't know if she has or not. She, I think she's watched one, maybe. We have to tell her to start keeping yeah. up on it. 
Well, I'll email her a link. But, but look, the thing about it is, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. She'll sit here and tell you the same thing. I know not to say nothing during the race. Because she asked me the other night, she said, are you going to have a Daytona 500 party? We used to have a Daytona 500 party. you going to have a No. Well, why not? And I said, because I don't want nobody in this house when I'm trying to watch the Daytona 500 now. Because he wants to be able to get sleep in the middle section of the race. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, no. I do not sleep during the race. He's watching the whole thing. I, I watch every bit of it, but I have a vested interest in racing now. Because my, son, my son's there. He's not there. So I... I don't want anybody to irritate me. Why? Well, how did, have you talked to him? How's their Daytona going so far? Um, they wanted one up in the in the unlimited, which they kind of figured was going to happen anyway. That was that's a throwaway car anyway. The unlimited. Well, well uh, they got a panel hit. The anymore, they're day. still a pretty good car. That's, I mean, well, it was the it was a hood. It was a hood. I mean, not the hood flap, but the uh, top of the the vent on the top of the car. Yeah. Blew off a of Vickers car. Yeah. And lodged itself in the front end of Jeff Gordon's car. I mean, it was like it sliced. It. Somebody I mean, did. It, somebody did put the uh, little. It, it wasn't even tethered. Evidently, tether. it wasn't even tethered because they're supposed to be tethered down. Yeah, I know they're supposed to be tethered. Oh yeah, they are supposed to be tethered. Correct. So I don't know. Somebody evidently didn't do what they were supposed to do. Supposed it, to be tethered and also have a thing that allows them only to lift so high coming up. Once they flipped around. Slam off. And went right it into was, the front end of the like, car. It was like a knife sitting right there in front of the car. Yeah, just like, thank right goodness it didn't uh, have been up and go through that thing. I mean, it, 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 it sort of reminds me of. Well, I need to. They've got legs and, then they, and then they took. Then he saw it, I didn't see it, but they, then they took spray can and spray painted the front of the car. Sure did. That's what I used to do when I was racing. I'd spray everything down with spray can. Well, <laughs> catch the bugs? No, no. Spray paint. Mm -hmm. I used to spray paint everything. Hey, why are you going to pay people to buy paint your car? You need a spray paint engine. That's the only thing that held my engines together was spray paint. <laughs> it's better than the glue. <laughs> like seal it. I need to find somewhere, I presume it's online somewhere. I think it was at Phoenix International Raceway when a coyote ran out in the track and right into the grill of one of the race cars. Wow. I mean, all you see is a little bit of fuzz and fur, but it did a number on the car. I don't think I've seen that. I knew somewhere there was a, a bird or something. Well, I don't know. Oh, they've had bird strikes no, in that Daytona. Was day, that was in Daytona. The day, yeah. uh, Dale Earnhardt hit one. Yeah. I mean, that's a good race. Oof. Cost him a race. A whole lot cost him a race there. <laughs> Flat tires. You, know, you really got bad luck when a bird caught you a race. <laughs> yeah, they bird strike damage. You can say that. You ever, you ever been driving along the interstate and all of a sudden you see feathers pop out in front of you and there's a tractor trailer running in front of you and you just hit one? Mm -hmm. I've seen that say, oh, where the hell are them feathers come from? Oh, what am I thinking? Mm -hmm. Especially around here. So well, what, what else is happening in the racing world other than he can't make two laps this, this past weekend? I made 45. Week four only made a lap and a half. Three quarters. I knew it was one of those. Walking around the track doesn't count. <laughs> where, where are you in point stand? <laughs> Is the basement Honestly, sound familiar? No, I was like seventh or eighth, and I don't even look anymore. How many people in the division? Twenty. Huh. Oh. You might be ahead of 20, one or two of them. No, anyway. no, 24, 20, How many of them race all the time? Like you? No. no most of them. There's, about, there's a couple of new guys. They came this past week or week before last. I think it was two new guys. So yeah. Well, they already got a. How, how good did they do? <laughs> One guy's in the way. One but guy's in the way. Out. How does somebody who didn't finish but a lap and a half? <laughs> oh, hey, he was the guy who was trying to pass when the tire blew. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how you could sit and tell somebody else they were in the way. <laughs> well, he got out of the way. I mean, it's a, yeah. It's a, it's a tough little place to get around, but uh, man, I just had some bad luck. I don't know what it is. Shake it, do something. At least you got some luck. <laughs> bad luck. Yeah, I figured uh, Elton Sawyer uh, was driving for Junior Johnson the last year. He quit, and Junior Johnson told him that it was 90% car and 10% luck, but if you didn't have the 10% luck, it didn't mean nothing that 90%. <laughs> Need a whole a whole hundred percent production. Mm -hmm. okay, so if you didn't have the ten percent luck, so what did your driver suit look like? It's a Jimmy John's. Uh, a Jimmy John? Mm -hmm. Kevin Harvick. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about changing it? 
My other one's a UPS suit. Some of the girls are going to pump it up. <laughs> Man, you just... <laughs> That's because you're sitting there with them half the time. You know, <laughs> hey, you know, he needs to learn how. He needs to know how to do what the ups does. They deliver. <laughs> right? Yeah. There you go. Hey, look, the, the sponsors like it because every time I get in the car, I say I'm going up to Johnny Rockets. And last week when I was up there, I was getting the milkshakes. The milkshake machine is working out. And uh, <laughs> the guy in front of me had three milkshakes and had a couple kids. I said, them milkshakes are good. He said, oh, you're the reason we're up here. <laughs> I said, well, I said, because you said you were coming over here for a milkshake, and the kids are like, oh, they got milkshakes, Dad? Can we go get a milkshake? Uh, I was supposed to talk about also about the largest front-wheel drive stock car race in Indiana history. It's supposed to be VCTS. They set a new entry record for how many cars apparently came to... Uh, so what kind of cars are they running? I'll tell you in a second here. <laughs> I pop it up. How about that? How many cars did they have? U forty two. Looks like mini stocks are U cars. Yeah, yeah it looks like mini stocks. Sure does. Still have forty two car cars. starting grid. Lightning uh, Speedway has a pretty good uh, turnout of this thing, so they got twenty twenty five cars. But the entry list is uh, the prepaid entry list has already gone over sixty cars. Do you ever see the old uh, Enduro races at Langley Speed? I'm sure you probably have. Man, they Didn't they ran them. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Did you? That looked like it would have been a ton of fun. To do. Tried to open 110 cars out there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it, it was 100 and some cars. 110, 120 cars. When, when the guy at the front takes off, the back end of the pack is sitting going into one. Mm -hmm. So he's only got 100 feet before he's in hey, that If you body. just survive that, oh, you got something. I had, we had one of I can tell you later, but we had one of our sponsors that came down. That when I had the funeral home guy, he came down and we painted up one of the cars like a Jeff Gordon car and let him go race it in an enduro. That was hilarious. He didn't know what to do when he when he had a t flat tire. He thought the car broke. And <laughs> just keep going. Mm -hmm. he well, sorry, you can change tires on that. Yeah, you go around, drive in, and do a pit stop, change the tires. He thought the car was broke, so he just parked it, raised up his hand. They did red flag, <laughs> they got out, and the car just stayed there. I mean, the first time I watched that, I was like. What are they doing? Like, there's no caution. They leave it right in the racetrack. And then, you know, somebody come along and the cars there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was great. Yeah, they were fun to watch. Oh, and they paid yeah, big they, money, too, to, to win. 2500 to win. Yeah, we used to have them in Southampton. They, was, they would... Oh, man. No, I'm sorry. It was 1500 to win. Sorry, not twenty five. I thought it was more than fifteen. I don't know if I thought it was. But, I mean, that's 20-some years ago. But I remember... Do you remember the what chain race? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Them chain races were something else. Yeah, yeah. They had one of those not so awful long ago. Like, yeah, they had, they had uh, I, think I think the last, last time they have destruction, they had some. I guarantee you Jason Rudd won in it. <laughs> Jason <laughs> Rudd was was running for the track championship at Southampton. And they had a chain race. Doing a regular Saturday night racing. Yeah, the, and two of his buddies said, look, we're going to build us a chain car. You know, the first car's got the motor. Second car, I don't know. Just, ain't, ain't got squat. Right. They got nothing in there. The no, third, third car has a steer. Right. No, the third, third car's got brakes. Okay, whatever. Everybody, However, everybody, everybody can steer. Anywhere, any, anyway. They taught Jason into getting in the car with them to do the chain race. And his daddy didn't know he was in the chain race. Mm -hmm. And needless to say, that car flipped over that he oh, was really? in. And his dad, when he got out of the car, that's when his daddy realized it was him. Oh. And it was kind of a bad scene there for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because he stay in the car. No, no, I stay in the car. No, because he, when he got out of the car, you know, he got up and he was, hey, look at me, look at me. And his daddy come through the fence underneath the flag stand, opened it up and jumped down on the track and grabbed him by the collar. <laughs> <laughs> and took him to the pit because he still had to run his race that night. <laughs> be like doing a Tony Stewart thing, okay? Yeah, yeah, I almost got the championship. Yeah, they were dead serious. They were, they were dead serious about you know racing. So yeah. I bet it's fun. I don't know. I wouldn't want. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, ain't gonna, gonna be the guy. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't doing it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The middle is in for a ride. If you were going to the corner, probably run into the guy in front of you. Yeah, and then Al, 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 Al is back. not that small a guy either. He's mm -hmm. yeah, no, Al's big guy. Never mind, he's back. Called him the other day. He was supposed to call me back. Damn. It was. 
It was fun. You heard about how Ricky Rudd wound up in racing, right? Mm -hmm. He carried him and his brother out to the racetrack, and he was faster. Nah. Well, who did no, that for? Al was Bill? supposed to be testing, and Al was yeah. running late, and they tested Ricky. Right. I know he was faster when it was for Billy Champion. It was a bit, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Stick around with us. We'll teach you a little something. history. Know. Maybe you'll learn something, how to get past right two there. laps. <laughs> You didn't get a chance to step in on that one, you noticed that, right? What's that? that Too late. Cool. You have to watch the show. Teach me something. I mean, you know, that's what old folks are for. <laughs> All right, it's been a nice <laughs> night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to Southern National. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick on you hard when we go. I'm going to bring up I'm just playing like I don't know who you are. <laughs> 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 uh, Treat you like a red haired step child. Say, is that what it is? Just just let him know. <laughs> I swear I'm with him. He's out on a day pass. That's what it is. <laughs> Off his meds Jimmy and out does let meds. Their mental patients have them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what you need to do. Get yourself a mental institution as a sponsor. Mm. That'd be too realistic. <laughs> <laughs> they would, they I would play that up good. Well, I told him. I told him. Them. I told him last week. Um, you wouldn't have to play. <laughs> when, uh, when I had the funeral home on the car, I was trying to get Trojans on the car too so we can have them covered, people covered from beginning to end. <laughs> you wouldn't have to play too hard for that. <laughs> we had fun. Yeah. Skeleton yeah, shirts. Not, as long as you have, I'm not having a whole lot of fun. I won't say that this year in racing, but, you know, it is what it is. Our but, luck will change. When I went out, it was I wasn't... You gotta have to, fun. I, mean, you I would have, have to have fun. fun, whether I did good or not. Doesn't matter. Whether just whether I had fun. That's all I was in for. But it's fun. That's all it was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's got it's got to be fun. I mean, if it's not it's, fun, you know, it's got to be fun for me. And the, we would we would have children, kids races. I mean, you know, the kids nights, and the kids would get to ride the cars after the race. Well, this one particular night, kids night was after the mini stock race that I was in. So I'm running around there, and I'm not doing good anyway, so it didn't really make a whole lot of difference, but I'm running around the track, and I'm watching the scoreboard. And when the scoreboard got to lap 23, I quit. Drove off the track so I could be the first one out for kids' night. <laughs> <laughs> I come off the track, everybody, what you doing? I'm getting in line for kids' night. <laughs> That was the highlight of his night. <laughs> it was. I don't know if I told that one. Hey, I'm not. That's, look, I had more fun racing. I would do stuff just to just to see how far it would go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I went out there. You said you seen how the drag racers take these things and stick them on their cars to cover their tires while they're on the car. They put the little sticker thing on there. Well, I went to Summit and bought two of them things. <laughs> and I started going to racetrack. And here I am. I'm not doing nothing out there. I go out there and put these things on my car, hiding my tires. I was just playing. I wasn't, there wasn't anything serious about what I was doing. I yeah. thought it was cold. Treating the everybody tires. Everybody came to see it, though. Now, everybody was watching. And the next week, two or three other guys had them. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I started a trend. I said, look at this. I'm not even running good. You're I look good. You're a trendsetter. <laughs> hey, that's, there you go. You were a trendsetter. My, my, car, my car may not have been fast, but it, as slow as it was going, everybody got to see how pretty it was. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he'd, run, he'd run in the back and the front, that front one in the, in the front up there, would tear their cars up, beat, bang, knock them, everything, knock them over, and everything else wreck. And he'd come through there and just... Right, right, right. Right, right. He did end real well, but he didn't get the car. He got some good finishes. They tore their cars all to pieces, and here Jack just, he ride right off the front. One, one, one night, the guy was running along there, and he was one of the one of the big boys at the track. Something happened to his car. I lapped him three times. Come off the track, he walked over and he took he said, I know I was really going bad. You left me three times. <laughs> I was getting ready, I was getting ready to say that for one of the definitely in Shame City. He said, when I saw you go by me, I said, man, this ain't working. <laughs>
He, he probably need them tire covers just to put over his head so nobody would see him. Who's the uh, old Tommy, uh, the boy that, that had Parkway Pontiac? Tommy, uh, I, can't, I can't think of his last name. He owned, he was... He owned a percentage of the dealership there, and he came racing, and, and he moved up to the late model. And the first night he moved up to the late model, I don't know how many how many laps he he was down. I said, "How'd you like that, Tommy?" He said, "Man, I think they lapped me twice in one lap." <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never had that. Happen. Yeah, he used to, he also used to play the chicken on the TV, mm -hmm. the Parkway Chicken. Um, he and I got uh, into crazy. each other one time, and we we, we were pretty good Gibbs. friends. Tommy Gibbs. Tommy Gibbs. And uh, got into him accidentally, and he had his thumb in the weird. Oh the yeah, yeah. Wheel it broke his thumb. No, it, it actually, I don't know if it broke his thumb or, or broke something. his wrist, because it, we got into each other while we were racing down in the turn three and four. And uh, yeah. next, next week, at races. We, the uh, mini stock races went for twenty five laps. Yeah. At at South End, we wouldn't run twenty five laps. I went out. And bought me one of them water bottles, and put me one of them screen, and put one of them tubes on it to put it around to my helmet. <laughs> oh, he had so a, I, he had a, a, a place to put you it. You were you were sweating after twenty. No, 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 no. I do that right around. And, and there, Spray people. First couple weeks, no. First couple of weeks, the officials came and opened it up to see what was in it because ain't nobody seen one before. <laughs> It look, like they, but it look good. <laughs> I come out on the track, I have to take him up <laughs> there. I, go. I thought you were gonna say you were squirting people. No, no, man, that was. Hey, he's got one of those mystery costumes. Throw the bottle out on the thing. You know? I thought about it this week. <laughs> I don't think it would have helped you. And it would have given me a caution to catch back up. Well, no, I'd have given him a few more laps. My tires. So you were forty-five out. laps. You were. You only finished forty-five laps. You still won't caught up to him. Uh, I just went back. I, well, the, it was 50 lap race? Yeah, it's 50 laps. But so you only got 45 minutes. Me little, and the 45 went to the back, and you can't take the cone if you parted the caution. I don't know how far we were in. There weren't a whole lot left. I think there was 15, 20 laps left. And I, I catch the 10 car, and I was like, man, I, I, mean, he was, I was all over him in practice, but the car kept getting real free and, and it kept falling over on the right rear. And I'm like, something's not right. And the next thing I know, I went in, and it said, uh -oh. I mean, just bent the rim all over where it just dug into the racetrack. Oh, okay. And then when I turned back around, the right side, some guy come in and plowed me. Didn't hurt too bad, but, but I mean, I, I've bought you know, he needs a new four shirt. right front shocks this year. I've been Says, sucks to be me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. You know, joke. That's terrible. Yeah. That's well, if you would like for me to, I will call Scott this week. And since you've got a couple weeks off, let him help you learn how to race. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nobody mad at me. I was going to say, he's tearing up to other people. What are you talking about? Yeah, he got some people mad at him, boy. Because if they're mad at him, they can't be mad at you at the same time, can they? No, yeah, 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 you can. <laughs> <laughs> Not going well. I don't really have anybody that's mad at me. I don't really rough nobody up except the four well, or five time. you got to finish our race before you can <laughs> <get started. laughs> oh, you I just want to survive. I just want to finish. Well, just go around half speed. Nah, <laughs> you might I ain't be. Do that. They may have to go around you, but nah. just hope they don't run up your butt. We ain't, we ain't just riding. We ain't making you, any further you're, you're the exactly, other way. <laughs> you're, you're exactly right. You're not just riding because you quit after last night. Because it wouldn't go no more. Um, I knew it was one of those races, one of those two races. I knew you didn't finish with a lap or so. Yeah. I, I, now that I now that I know somebody, I keep up with it really. Because <laughs> I let it go when the Miller stopped racing and all them guys stopped racing. I just kind of never even looked at it very much anymore. Yeah. Now that you out there, I know you ain't doing well. I like looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun, man. It is fun to watch because they do tear a bunch of stuff up. Did they take a picture of all y'all together at the end of the year or the beginning of the year? The beginning of the year. Yeah, guess why they're still friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got my picture. You gonna give me bring me a picture? I'll bring you a poster. I'll autograph it too. That's all right. After I put a patch over Scott's yeah. eye, like I do. <laughs> I, t I told you. I told you. I almost got in trouble one year out of Richmond because when you go in this media, you're not supposed to get autographs and stuff like this. And I go and talk with the guys and stuff we've had on the show, and Brendan sits here and starts 
write me out autograph stuff and somebody else did and I said, why are y'all doing this? I'm not supposed to have these. They said, well, don't tell them. I said, if they walk up behind me and y'all are doing this stuff, I'm going to get my thing pulled. So. <laughs> you just need to go up in the truck and get it. No, I mean. I don't really <clears throat> worry about it. As long as you're not constantly doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that, that's part of the thing they tell you. You're here, well, you're yeah. not supposed to be. Unless you've registered with somebody at the track, if you're doing a charity autograph thing, like Al does with the helmets yeah. and stuff, that, then you can get away with something like that. But yeah. going out there, don't be an autograph hound. It's bad. Yeah. Hey, you know how bad we get in with them sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> I want to keep it easy. Oh, okay. great. All right, we had enough fun yet? I think so. We got four more minutes, so it's an hour and a half. I'm going to head on back to Cortland. That's about how long it takes to them to do a caution and him to get two laps in, isn't it? <laughs> My night's over. I go up and get a burger. I know, shake. And I know they love you, too. I mean, because if you, you get on that interview after you fall out of the I'm going to get a hamburger. I'm sure they like that. Mm -hmm. They'll probably wish you'd fall out more. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, if we finish, usually we're in the top three. So I mean, they usually interview me, so I, c I get to talk. But when was the last time you finished? About four races ago, we finished third. I'm still. You get you're getting gray hair from waiting so long. You know that. I'm right? still I'm getting coming, bald too. I'm still <laughs> coming. Going one night. I'm still Ooh, coming one night. Gray. <laughs> I'm coming one night. I want a radio. A radio. <laughs> and I'm gonna set up. You're the, demanding. I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna spot for you. <laughs> oh Lord. I said I want to finish. I want to help you finish because you ever done you're not doing good by yourself. <laughs> it's like something you got to change something to change your luck. Do you so I'm gonna help. It? Well, we did because we had uh, Eric's daughter. She she just got her license and she got a got a ticket. So she she been on she been in trouble. So she can't been, and hasn't been able to come to the racetrack. But we started the season. We won the first race and and uh, we ran good in the top dog and. I think the second race was when Scott flipped me over, and we ran good the second race, and, and then she got in trouble and she hadn't been to the racetrack. So it looks like we've been just on this downward spiral. So she was back this weekend and says, this, her luck's going to change. Well, we went from making just a couple laps to 45 laps. Okay, now I'm going to get there and we're going to finish them final five. <laughs> is she your spotter? Nah. Who's your spotter? Uh, JT. JT. Okay. He's a crew chief, spotter, okay. Okay. everything, tire specialist. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna come. I want a radio. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep oh, are we ready for the sign out yet? Or are we gonna? Yeah, go out? ahead. I'm sorry. We, I thought we. Matter of fact, I thought we'd already. Done. <laughs> oh, yeah. good thing you didn't start running your mouth about somebody. <laughs> okay, that might have been a little funny. Come join us next week as we see how long it takes for Jack to pull his foot out of his mouth. <laughs> well, I didn't say nothing bad, except about myself. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll see if Scott. Well, let's see. Finish a race. Yeah, if he gets to finish a race in the weeks. near future here. You can send your contributions too. <laughs> yeah, we can. Need, we need some sponsors. <laughs> send them here to the show, and I'll make sure he gets it. If he does any better or not. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully everybody will see y'all next week on the show. Of course, let's talk racing. Hey guys, I'm Daytona 500 winner Trevor Bain, and thank you for watching Let's Talk Races. Hi, I'm Robert Richardson Jr., driver of the number 23 Dodge Challenger for R3 Motorsports in the NASCAR Nationwide Series, and you're watching Let's Talk Racing. I'm Teddy Peters, driver of the number 17 Toyota in the NASCAR Camp World Truck Series, and you're listening to Let's Talk Racing. <laughs> driver of the 33 NASCAR late model 2011 Old Dominion Speedway track champion thank you for watching Let's Talk Racing TV Hi, I'm Sam Hunt driving a 42 car I want to thank Let's Talk Racing Hi my name is Natalie Sather I drive the 94 k and Lady Eagle Safety Wear Butler Built Seats Bell Helmets Hooker Harness Seat Belts Number 94 at South Boston Speedway Be sure to listen to Let's Talk Racing TV